In the early 1900s, the city of New Orleans was terrorized by a serial killer known as the Axeman. No one knew his true identity, but everyone feared his next move. The Axeman was known for breaking into homes in the middle of the night and attacking his victims with an axe. One night, a couple woke up to the sound of their front door being kicked open. They quickly turned on their lights and saw a figure in a hooded cloak standing in their doorway. Before they could scream, the axe man lunged at them with his axe. The couple managed to escape with their lives, but they were deeply traumatized by the attack. They spoke to the police about what they saw, but the axe man remained elusive. He continued to strike fear into the hearts of the people of New Orleans. The police did everything they could to catch the axe man, but he always seemed to slip through their fingers. He was like a ghost haunting the city and leaving a trail of blood in his wake. The Axeman's reign of terror came to an end when he made a fatal mistake. He broke into the home of a grocer named Mike Pepitone, but Pepitone was ready for him. As the Axeman entered the room, Pepitone fired his gun, hitting the killer in the jaw. The Axeman fled the scene, leaving behind a trail of blood. The police were able to track him down and arrest him. His true identity was finally revealed. He was a man named Joseph Mumphrey. Mumphrey was found guilty of several murders and was sentenced to life in prison. He died behind bars a few years later, but the memory of his horrific crimes lived on in the minds of the people of New Orleans. To this day, the Axeman remains one of the most infamous serial killers in American history.